All right, today, guys, we're going to be cleaning the uh, mass airflow sensor. So you want to plug these two clips right here. We're going to take a screwdriver and just uh, take these clamps off. I mean, you could remove the whole, uh, whole throttle body, but it's no need to. So yeah, just loosen this one up, pop it out. <clears throat> right there, you can just um, loosen it up right here. Need a wiggle out, guys. <clears throat> Hold on, let me put this down. I need two hands free to uh, pull it out. It's kind of stuck. Hold on. All right, guys. Dig. I had took it off. Like I said, you can remove the whole throttle body if it's easier for you. But, you know, just loosening up those clamps right there, you're able to pull it out without messing anything up. I'm going to spray this out. A little dirty. Just going to clean it out. You know, <clears throat> just doing a little... Uh, like maintenance on here, trying to show you guys how to clean it out. Um, as you see in the previous video, I did the EGI valve. You know, cause like I said, I was just curious to know, like the previous owner, he had like did certain stuff, but I mean, he left stuff like gaskets off, left this there, didn't replace this. So I was just, you know, <clears throat> checking it out. Don't let hurt to clean it out. So I'm gonna spray this out. Then I'm gonna put this back, make it nice and simple for you guys. Let me go get the uh, spray. All right, guys, here's the stuff we're going to be using. Uh, CRC Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. I mean, this stuff is pretty pricey, $6, $7 a can. I know a lot of people that did it with, like, brake part cleaners and WD-40, but I really don't recommend this stuff because it leaves behind a, uh, a film and residue. Like, WD-40 leaves behind a coating of oil, and uh, the, um, I know, like, those brake cleaners and stuff, it leaves behind a, a residue. And those are something you don't want on them fine wires and resistors in there because when that stuff get hot and heat up, it could damage this. So I just recommend you go ahead and opt for the uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. Like I said it's pricey, but this costs way more. Trust me. All right, guys, let me get to doing it. All right, guys, I got the um, the cleaner, and you just want to spray on the inside of that. If you want, you can put like a towel or something up under here. Or a paper towel or cardboard up on here to catch all the stuff, but you want to spray back in the inside of there. Just be careful with it. Let this stuff run out. And then, guys, let this stuff dry completely. As you can see, it evaporates good, but I just sit it in a, um, like in a house or indoors, especially if it's cold. And just for like 10 minutes just to make sure everything clean and evaporated because the stuff evaporated pretty quick as you can see you don't have to too much soak it but just make sure you get it up in there good all around the uh, sides on those re uh, resistors and stuff to so make sure you get it all right guys and we gonna uh, we gonna let this stuff dry a can should last you a long time. You don't have to soak it. Trust me, it's doing the job. So I'm gonna sit this in the inside, let it dry, then we're gonna put it back on. All right. All right, guys, it's self-explanatory. You put this back on the same way you took it off. And um, yeah, that's that. Let me put this camera down, slap this back on, and then I'll show you guys the end results, which is it put back on. All right. Another guys, a lot of people don't really pay attention to this. When I put my rubber seal on, I make sure one of these uh one of these parts to, like to go up like that. I make sure it go up to these rubber parts because it's easy to to uh, put one of those back over there, or something like that, and then that'll make your uh, your uh, air intake sensor could act up, sucking too much air, sucking hot air, you know. So just try to line it back up right. Not a lot of people don't pay attention to that. I mean, but I, I try to do it. You see, I don't know if you can see it, but you see it. Goes right up in that groove. All right, guys, let me slap this back together. Then I'll uh, turn it back on for you. There you go, guys. 
all put back together. Just gotta plug these uh, two plugs in. Make sure you plug these plugs back in. Otherwise, it might run funny or engine code might come on, but you guys know that. All right, guys, everything put back together. Tighten up, just make sure your clamp's tight, everything put back together, nice and tight. And then you're done. There you go, guys. That's how you uh, clean the mass airflow sensor on the 4.3 Vortex 2 2001 Chevy Blazer. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and um, turn that notification bell on for future videos. And I'll uh, catch you guys later. I'm out.